Take a trip through the Lost Library and discover what's available now from yours truly. When their parents are taken captive by a wicked necromancer and his sinister crocodile men, a pack of children from the peaceful land of Aquania must journey across their continent, meeting strange beings and confronting untold terrors in their quest to rescue their families from a witch queen eager to raise a demon lord from his fiery abode. The Young Barbarians, written by your boy Crypto, is available now in both digital and print form on Amazon.com. Published by the fine folks at the Lost Library. And support your boy Crypto by picking up a copy today. Link in the description below. Hello, all you beautiful people in Webtown, and welcome back to Crypto Comics Malibu Mondays. I want to get a head start on this whole Ultraverse thing, the whole uh, breakthrough event. And so uh, we're going to get into those last few Ultraverse comics I have yet to cover here on Crypto Comics. And this is prototype number one. It was just supposed to be an exhibition, not a competition. Had I known otherwise at the beginning, I would have bet on the Prototype 2000. And so there's a big fight, and there's a guy in a suit, and he's having to fight another guy. The Prototype 2000 is a 10-year project, now in its third year. Ultratech set this up as an exhibition for its research department to test the equipment's progress. Somebody changed the script, though. And the high-tech killing machine was out for blood. My blood. I never found out what went wrong or who rewired the program, but I'm going to. You can bet the farm on it. It was supposed to be an exhibition, just a friendly air show. They found my arm about an hour later. A homeless man was trying to sell it for $20. I didn't do much better. A part of Bob Campbell died that day. Budget Cuts, written by Tom Mason and Len Straszewski. Ultra artists, Dave Ammerman and James Pascoe. No! He wakes up armless. And he's upset, you know, he talks to the cat. He gets out his robotic arm and he puts it on. It's not every day that Ultratech holds a stockholders meeting, Thelma. And I've got a golden ticket. Hmm, yesterday's coffee. Just what the doctor ordered. Like day-old chili. It's always better the second day. So he heats it up with his robotic arm. Pretty high tech. And then these two people, these two young lovers are walking down the street and this beastly man comes after them. Ultra Tech, where is Ultra Tech? Leave us alone. Damn you, why can't you leave decent people alone? Don't know any decent people. Ultra Tech. Ultra Tech, Leland, Glare is coming. Ladies and gentlemen, as you know, we created the prototype program several years ago. It was expensive, but it served its purpose. Prototype became as associated with Ultratech as Mr. Whipple was to bathroom tissue and greatly enhanced our image, facilitating our entry into the consumer market. Prototype has also protected our investments overseas, increased our stock prices and net income, and earned us the best press we've had in our 15 years of existence. Several months ago, we took Prototype off the market and sent him back to the shop. There, Ultratech used our company's technological innovations to create a leaner, meaner, and more powerful corporate spokesman. More importantly, we have a corporate role model that reflects the image of the new Ultratech, a role model that will lead us well into the 21st century. Ladies and gentlemen, my gift to you all. That's the signal. Mission Control, cue the kid. We are go for launch. Gas the floor, my heavens, good lord. Stand back, America. It's showtime. He's beautiful. If it is a he, I hope he's single. Wonder what kind of engine they got in that thing. So that's what they've been working on. You think it's gas or fusion or electrical or? Oh man, this is great. He'll make a great video game. My God, how did they get that suit so small? They must have solved the micronization problem after I left. I still like the old suit, my old suit. Oh man, there's something crazy going with all this high-tech stuff. I wish I had more time to get used to these gizmos. My head's pounding, like my brain's screaming to get out. We've got trouble, Mr. Leland. Condition bred. Prototype's not responding as planned. The vision channels are blocked. Uh, and he crashes through this window. <laughs> we'll have more than this uh, afterwards. You can all get your picture taken with them. Before we break, is there any old business? Yes, Mr. Leland. I'd like to know why I was let go. Dismissed. 
why you don't return my calls, and what you intend to do about the age discrimination suit I've filed against Ultratech. We have trouble on the floor. Get him and get him outside now. Excuse me, are you a shareholder? If you are, you know it is not the policy of Ultratech to respond to pending litigation. And I'm sorry to say that I haven't seen a copy of the suit yet. Come along, Bob. You know the routine by now. When will you ever learn, buddy? Do us all a favor, Bob. Keep away from Ultratech. It would be a shame if something happened to you. Wow. Rude. Yes, wouldn't it just? But then Stanley Leland would get his first good night's sleep in months. Oh, there's Diane again. She uh, answers a question from Brian Dams of Germansville, Pennsylvania. Dear Diane, why when Prime gets shot, does he start turning into goop? Well, Brian, the goop you're referring to is Prime's liquid flesh, the substance that provides Kevin all the necessities of life while he is in Prime form. When Prime is attacked or under fire, the flesh will eventually become unstable and start to liquefy. Hence, the goop. Check out the uh, review of Prime number one if you want to see more of the goop. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we've all had our fun this morning. Now let's take our seats while we prepare. And he's like, oh, something's going crazy with this thing on my head. But all they really care about is, is the money, right? With a better bond rating on Wall Street and some long-term paper, we could top the Choice Corporation next quarter. He's not just a showpiece. He's a corporate asset. We need that kid in one piece. Say, Marjorie, these headaches don't have anything to do with all those implants, do they? Absolutely not, Jimmy. These ought to help. They do every time. Thanks. I'm going to take some pills to deal with my headache. Now i got to get back to my new place and rest up. i got big plans tonight. Not so fast, Jimmy. First, you've got to shake a few hands at the buffet line. Great. So tell me, Marjorie, are there any babes out there? <sighs> what the hell is it, Mendel? We've got trouble, Mr. Leland. You won't believe it. There's a guy out on the streets, and he's giant and green, and he's fighting. Let's send out Prototype to take him on. Ha ha ha, that tickles. I have the power. And they fight and smash. Who is this guy? Are you kidding? That's the new Prototype. Get a good shot of this, Stan. He's got a camera on his shoulder. If only they knew the truth. He's just a genetically altered kid. That's right, he's only a 19-year-old kid. When I was Prototype, I could have taken this guy down in minutes and still have enough energy left to film a new commercial. Somehow, I don't think this is an exhibition for the stockholders. Corporate stockholder meetings are one thing, but let's see how he stacks up against a real supervillain. So tell me, Conrad, what are the Vegas odds makers given now? They say Prototype is a 500 to 1 shot. He's too new and untested, an unknown. Put me down for a thousand on my boy. I have a good feeling about the kid. And there's some more fighting. And this guy's watching from the background. Hmm, this is interesting. I don't recognize the Ultra with the ponytail. Must be new. This is the Ultra with the ponytail. If he survives, I'll have to start a file. The other guy must be the new prototype from Ultratech. He looks more souped up than the previous version. No wonder they've been keeping this a secret. I'm sure Aladdin will want to know all about this prototype. Time for a visit with Bob Campbell. Big talk for the new kid. Been nice knowing you. Let's fight. The kid's systems are dark. He's shut down. We're switching to manual override. Keep your fingers crossed. The kid's on his own. Looks like the kid needs me after all. Stanley can sort out all the publicity implications later. Come on, baby. I gotta get this engine to turn over. Here we go. Get ready to rock and roll. There's that guy. I hope he can't hear me coming. Cause it's definitely payback time. Ka-champ! Are you okay, Gerald? You took quite a hit. Is that you? At one time, that could have been you, buckaroo. Say goodnight, Gerald. I, I, that was quite a blast. Is he, is he, he shot him in the back. This guy's dead and Prototype killed him. So, serves him right. It was him or me. I'm sure Mr. Leland will see it that way. I hope. Next issue, truth or consequences and we will get into the next issue we will get into each and every issue of prototype as malibu mondays continue each and every week right here on crypto comics the exiles we are going to get into the exiles 
this is a four issue mini series that also leads up to the breakthrough crossover event. So that's coming up. Oh, look at that. Nice, nice cover. Nice look at the Predator. And here we have uh, the Malibu Comics line, which was not nearly as cool or popular or interesting as Ultraverse. Dinosaurs for Hire, and X-Mutants, and Gravestone, and Protectors, and the Ferret, and Man of War. I have Gravestone number one. If you guys want to see it, let me know in the comments below. Firearm. We've done the first issue of this. Uh, we also did the uh, issue number zero. You can also watch the Firearm film made exclusively. So this is this is really cool. So Malibu made an actual ma an actual movie and it's it was like an uh, about 50 minutes long. And it's the beginning of a story and then it con the story concludes in firearm number 0. And these two in the and the VHS tape and the comic book were packaged together and sold that way. Very very hard to find in physical form. You know, people are hoarding that one, I'm sure. That's a, quite a unique thing. There he is, right? Well, we're going to find out more about him. We're going to find out a lot more about Rune as Malibu Mondays continue right here on Crypto Comics. So that is our first look at Prototype with issue number one. And I, I dug it, you know, like a lot of this Ultraverse stuff, I'm, I'm digging it. It's different, you know. It feels like it's going to be a ripoff of Iron Man, but it ends up being something quite different. And uh, I'm excited to see where it goes. I'm excited to see where the entire Ultraverse goes. Quite a journey, quite a story, and I look forward to sharing it with each and every one of you beautiful people in Webtown. Now, if you'd like to support your boy Crypto, please go to Amazon. Please pick up The Young Barbarians by yours truly. If you grew up in the 80s and the 90s and you missed the glory days of Steven Spielberg, Robert Zemeckis, and George Lucas, look no further than The Lost Library. It's a lot cheaper to write a book than it is to make a comic. So I figured I'd, uh, I'd start uh, putting out books. So we opened a little publishing company called The Lost Library and uh, found a few writers who have some talent and we're going for it. So stick around right here as we continue our journey, our deep dive into the world of the Ultraverse and many other amazing books in the back issue bins. See you next time.